and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to do a ride to King City Park temperatures currently in the 40s and we have some wind so it feels a little coolish and we have an overcast sky as you can see but no rain at least not yet I don't think we're going to get rain down here of course I'm riding on the Lyric Graffiti once again I'm absolutely addicted to this bike love riding it dangerous there when somebody's pulling out between two cars I didn't even see that car pulling up but when they're pulling out and there's cars parked on both sides it makes it hard for them to see and for me to see them pulling out of their driveway so that was a little bit scary I read something interesting today coming out of France apparently, apparently they're looking into or trying to vote upon this to get it through to where you're going to have to register your e-bikes and scooters and they're going to make that mandatory if it goes through Now that's interesting because if they do that there, is that going to lead to other countries following suit? I don't know how it all would work and how much it would cost or anything like that, but I just saw that article and I thought, uh oh, I don't want to see that. I mean, I mean, if we have to register, then we have to register. Um, I suppose there's good and bad to that, and uh, I'm not going to get into debates over that right, uh, right now because it's not even law or anything, and that's not applying to us here in the United States or in Canada or basically anywhere else that I know of but it's just something to keep an eye on and see where that goes I like to keep an eye on happenings in the e-bike world so when I see a story like that one it kind of catches my eye for sure I'm more curious as to what new bikes are coming out new models this year uh, some companies are a little bit on the quiet side right now and I'm wondering I'm going to change this assist level to 5. Uh, I'm wondering what's going on. Like, usually when there's quiet, they're up to something. Meaning, maybe they're working on a new model for a bike. And uh, one company that's been quiet lately, to me anyway, has been Aerial Rider. And I'm wondering what they've got up their sleeve. Are they working on something? The last bike that they put out was the Kepler and uh, 
that's been a very successful bike for them. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do. I guess they've retired the D-Class model. You can no longer get that one unless you can find a used uh, bike. And then the other one that they came out with, uh, their latest sort of being the step through X class. So you wonder what's going on there, whether they're working on it. I'm sure they are. I mean, nobody stands pat, right? You're always trying to work on a new model, I'm sure. And uh, be interesting too to see they're a new company, but uh, I'm really curious to see what happens going forward with Lyric Cycles and what they have up their sleeve for their next bike. I hope personally that it's another Scrambler style like this one, but we'll see. This bike, uh, is very good and I wonder if they can uh, change up a few things maybe on it and uh, I know a lot of people want to see full suspension but uh, of course if you get that you're going to have to pay more money for sure I probably personally uh, for me like to see bigger batteries how about a 50 amp hour battery yeah that would be I'd rather have that than the uh, full suspension I'm thinking like on this bike I can feel that wind it's at least the temperature's in the 40s and not the 30s or 20s. That's where you really feel it, especially if it's in the 20s and you got the wind, or even the 30s. Uh, you really feel it. So if Lyric Cycle, Lyric Cycles, was to come out with another bike. Say it's the same style, like a scrambler style, moped style, like this bike here, the graffiti. What changes would you like to see on the bike? Like, would you like to change up something? Would the, would the full suspension be a must for you? Uh, maybe that's what's preventing you now from buying the bike. I don't know. Um, or would you be like myself and, and like to see maybe a larger battery? Like instead of having the dual battery, having one big uh, 50 amp or 40 amp anyway, 50 amp might be a bit much, but uh, that's what I'd like, but heck, I'd like 250s, but boy, that'd be, that'd be really, that would really make the bike heavy is what I'm trying to say. You know, I can't imagine how much weight that would be because those batteries are not lightweight and it'd be very costly. I'm looking forward to spring, not too far in our future. As we approach here, we're just about to hit the 1st of March. I, uh, 
I'm looking forward to the spring. Everything greening up. Um, nicer weather. More people out and about. More bikes. All of that stuff. Have I mentioned how smooth this bike is? This Lyric Graffiti is one smooth bike. It's not herky-jerky, it's not anything. Smooth sailing. I wonder how long it'll take before I'll see, besides my own, I'll see my first blur graffiti on the streets here in my area. I think that'll be kind of cool to see, in my opinion. I want to see some people get out on these bikes and if I get a chance, I'll ask them what they think of their bike. <clears throat> I wish everyone could do test rides on bikes before we buy them, but... the park they have a path around the soccer field and I'm going to go and take that path and then come back out At least everything is nice and green here, grass-wise anyway. feeling there'd be some people out and about. Including the robins there. Hello. They need to do some repairs on this path is very bumpy in places. It's terrible. That's the King City Park. Just a small community park. It's not real huge or anything. But it's perfect for the neighborhood. 
gives the kids somewhere to go. Of course, it also gives the parents somewhere to take their kids without having to go very far, get them out of the house. As we whip around back on the street here, using my regen braking pretty much exclusively if I can. on the road right there. That's what you get a lot of times in the bike lane and it just... I, don't, I just don't like it. it it's irritating. <laughs> I know there's not much you can do. They just have to sweep the street more often, I guess, but <clears throat> I really, really don't like that debris in the bike lane. Speaking of bike lane, here I go in the bike lane right now. If I caught it to legal speed here, 20, 19, okay, slow down. I think they're telling the pickup truck there to slow down. He's going beyond, I don't know what the speed limit is. Oh, 25, I see it ahead. Oh, look at all the glass. See there, car. Sometimes I really think they're not, they don't see me, even though I got my X needle helmet on, and the lights are flashing, and the whole bit. Looks like we're good to go here in turn. That's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Also, if you'd like to purchase the Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the descriptions. And I have a discount code that will save you $100 off the bike. And that is simply all one word, Oregon E-Biker Mark. That's Oregon E-Biker Mark, all one word. That'll get you $100 off the purchase of a bike. And happy riding. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.